Hello and welcome everyone to Papa Hector's Spiritual Podcast. Today's episode is called Four Reasons Why Men Need Spiritual Healing. So, before we get into the episode today, make sure you subscribe to this podcast, click like for us, but subscribe to us on anchor.fm, Apple iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcast, Stitcher, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. You can look us up at Papa Hector Salva, and you should be able to find us in our show. Also, if you haven't already done so, check out my YouTube at Hungan Hector, H O U N G A N Hector, H E C T O R. With that same name, you'll find me on Instagram and Facebook. Check out the blog at HectorSalva.com, where you can also subscribe to my newsletter, where you'll get tons of great stuff. Okay. So today's episode is called, Four Reasons Why Men Need Spiritual Healing. So I'm just going to jump and dive right into the topic, and I'm going to start right with reason number one, okay? Men need spiritual healing now more than ever because society has set itself against men. Society has set itself against men. Unfortunately, society doesn't understand true empowerment, okay? With the movement to empower women, instead of truly empowering women, much of the movement has turned into simply blaming men for the problems of society. Prior to this society being a a patriarchy, this society was a matriarchy, for way longer than it was a patriarchy. This is what we all seem to forget. And during that time of the matriarchy, there were many horrors, just as there have been horrors in the patriarchy against women. Society has set itself against men, putting men in a position where being masculine is bad and being feminine is bad. So either way, men are teeter-tottering, and being what nature has intended them to be, which is masculine, and everything which is masculine has been labeled as negative, bad, aggressive, too much, too strong, too forward. This also disempowers women, believe it or not. Many people don't see the underlying disempowerment that it does. Because by not allowing men to be men, okay, women will not be able to be women. Sooner or later, this society needs everything. And by not allowing men to truly be men, someone's going to have to pick up the work. Society has deemed much of what is masculine to be negative and has twisted it into masculine energy as being aggressive. Okay? Has deemed many masculine traits to be negative traits. And has blamed many of today's problems simply on men. Truly, amongst the races, men are the unseen society that are being discriminated against at this point. The truth is that we don't need to empower women by disempowering men. 
We need to empower women by empowering women and healing and creating strong women. Not by blaming, guilt tra- tripping, shaming, or trying to change the nature of what is the masculine. The masculine energy in the world is needed and contributes much of what we have today. Likewise, the feminine energy is needed and contributes a great deal to what we have in society today. But by having the society set itself against men being men, against the masculine form and the masculine energy, we set ourselves back. This is done in many, many, many ways. Society has many techniques and tactics that they use to set themselves against men. Okay? One of the ways is, you know, by making men, okay, feel ashamed or feel guilty for being masculine or for, you know, doing what comes natural to that which is masculine. Okay? It is true. There are many out there who are using the masculine energy in a hurt and negative way, in a toxic way, in a way that's harmful. But that's because there's many hurt men out there. Many insecure men. Many men that have not been taken care of or afforded healing by society which causes toxic masculinity, just as toxic femininity is seen by me all the time. Okay? I see them both. By unhealed women and unhealed men. Society has set itself against men in the sense that even when men often want to be good parents and good fathers and good role models... Men are given barriers and blockages to doing so. It set itself against men by automatically deciding that just because they're men, they must be aggressive or this or this or that. Okay? And by automatically, without taking into account the nature of individual situations siding with women rather than what is justified. The truth is, in society, very few have the clear eyes to see. No one feels sorry or pity for men when men go through their struggles. And if they feel pity for them, it's a negative thing. No one feels the need to jump in and help and save a man when a man is going through a tough time. In fact, society has removed any and all support from men, and men are expected to fully support themselves and others. And this includes often in the realm of emotions and thoughts and psychology, as well as in the physical world. Society does not support the single man, or even the, ma- the single father with children. Society is, supports women and women in these ways partially because of all the atrocities that have been committed. But what we have to realize today is that the men that you see before you today are the products of their, you know, experiences, environments, learning, societies, cultures. But these are not necessarily the men that have 
been the guilty parties of committing atrocities and judging and blaming and holding responsible all men today for what has been done over the course of many thousands of years is no better than any other type of discrimination. This leads us to number two. Men are not taught how to deal with their emotions. So, in our society, okay, the truth is that the emotions that are considered acceptable by a man are anger, aggression, happiness, being comedic, silly, funny, or being sexual. These are the expressions that are considered acceptable or semi-expected from a man. Men and women, both, have not been taught how to deal with their emotions. They teach you all kinds of beautiful things in school, but they don't teach you how to deal with the most basic thing that you're always going to have to deal with. Okay? And when you don't deal with your emotions, it becomes like undigested food matter in your gut. Okay? It sits, it rots, it poisons, slowly releasing poison into the system. And men in particular <clears throat> are not allowed to show emotions that are considered feminine. They're not allowed to be sad, crying, feeling sorry for themselves. And if we see or we witness a man doing this, respect is lost for the man. Okay, he's seen as being more effeminate, more feminine, more in touch with his feminine side. And a man can be emasculated by having emotions. And yet, every woman who wants a relationship wants a man who has intense love for her. Okay? Here we have one of those many contradictions in society. Okay? That stop people from getting what they need and what they want. The truth is that emotions are not masculine or feminine. Emotions are a human experience. Doesn't matter if you're male or female. If you are alive and you are human, you are subject to all emotions. Okay? You are subject to experiencing and having all of the various emotions that one may experience in life. As a being, you, have, you are composed of both masculine and feminine energies. And so you will experience, even if you're a woman, anger and sexual desire and drive and happiness and silliness, being comedic, just like you experience sadness and love and compassion and nurturing and everything else. However, okay, men are not allowed to express a full range of emotion. And by not expressing a full range of emotion, many things become blocked and like undigested food rotting and poisoning the system and creates insecurities, toxicity, and negativity. And that spews out on the community and the people around 
this male who is experiencing these situations. So, this is the second reason why men need spiritual healing. Because spiritual healing, not only does it heal and remove and cleanse those negative, undigested food of negativity and negative emotions and experiences, but if you're being properly trained by an expert... You will also know how to deal with your emotions, process them, and digest them properly so that they do not become toxins in your system, but rather empowerments to you. And you will be able to experience and live your full experience without losing being who you are as well as no longer projecting and having negativities integrated and built into your system that don't belong there that take away from your energy, your power, and strength. And this leads us to reason number three. So, two, number one, the society. Number two, dealing with emotions. Number three is a natural come about. Is men have immense amounts of stress which surfaces and becomes health issues. And this is true of everyone. So this is not just men, women too. Stress will become issues in your health. However, our society doesn't have many outlets for male stress. There are not the outlets for that stress energy to be vented in positive ways, and society has not empowered or taught men how to deal with stress effectively. Most men bottle up both stress and emotions. Okay? And this interferes with your long-term health. And more now than ever, men are facing many different types of mental, emotional, and physical health problems as a result of the stress and problems that are now going on in society and are now being dealt with. We've done many healings for men, and I've healed and taught many men how to deal with their emotions, break out of society's um, blockages, as well as deal with stress and resolve it. And very, very often when we're dealing the healing, men come to realize that there was more stress than they even realized. There was more going on with them. Things had stuck with them that they thought they had dealt with. Things had been drawing them down that they thought they were over and done with. Things were stressing their bodies that were no longer even on their radar. And once these things were resolved... Health issues were resolved, energy issues resolved, sexual issues resolved, mental issues resolved, so on and so forth. And we have to remember 
that in everything, everything, us, we are all connected. We're one big system. And so all of our systems need that healing in order for us to be happy, healthy, working, functioning, smooth, operating individuals. And stress will break down the system. Stress is created to break down the system. Okay? And we could go into probably hours of scientific talk. I love fun facts, a.k.a. scientific facts that just back up our spiritual work, things we've been talking about here for millennia. But science has now kind of come around to what we already know about the effects of stress, your health, your illnesses, what's wrong, and what's breaking down right now in your system as a result. We could speak about this for hours, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> Lastly, the fourth reason that we're going to give you that men need spiritual healing is so that they can have better relationships. Many men are unhappy in their relationships, stuck in unhappy relationships, or have a relationship that's actually good but needs improvement. Many men have not been taught, like many women, how to have successful relationships. But when you're carrying toxicity, negativity, and harm, hurt, wounds in the system, we cannot have successful relationships. We cannot have strength, longevity, and all the other pleasures and happiness that comes from a relationship. And fully get to experience that and have the mental, emotional, and physical support that's needed in relationships. Relationships are meant for men and women to support each other. I know it sounds like a crazy idea. I'm filled with these crazy ideas. Like, you know, each side supporting each other. Many women want to have these better relationships with men. And there are many good men out there that are working on their spiritual healing, that are healing themselves as men, and fully being able to bring forth themselves in wholeness, but there's many places in our culture and society that still has to catch up. This is not a topic that's often discussed. The, this is not something that is addressed how it needs to be addressed as often as it should. And there's many men without the tools, the knowledge, and the healing to be able to have those successful relationships. And have relationships where not only is it successful, but you're getting what you want and need. And the partner is also receiving what they want and need on all levels. Better relationships, not just with your physical partner or your romantic partner, <coughs> but... Spiritual healing will also bring better relationships with family, with friends, at work and in your profession, which will lead you to becoming more and more successful and being seen as more and more of a leader, being a boss, a leader, and coming into that leadership role that's there for you. Okay? Having relationships that work 
on both sides so that success is being able to be brought to everyone so that you're giving rather than just taking from the world and since you're giving you can actually receive okay since you're giving you can receive when you're taking you can't receive taking requires work receiving is receiving now one thing that I want to mention here is that even this concept that men need spiritual healing is one that society has often worked against. Many men think it's weak or unneeded because they're men or feminine or emasculating to work on spiritual healing, to admit that there's wounds, to admit that there's problems, or to do the work towards it, because doing the work towards it is to admit that there's something wrong. There's a bias against acknowledging this, and it's seen as being less masculine, and many of these things that I mentioned are seen as being less masculine, such as admitting to having emotions or having unresolved emotions or having stresses. One of the biases even in society is that men shouldn't really talk about their problems. They should do something about it or like keep it to themselves as part of the dealing with emotions and dealing with the bottled up stresses and with all this being said okay I'm not saying that there's people out there that don't do whatever but oftentimes this equates when it's not being healed into toxic relationships failed relationships unhappy, unsuccessful relationships, immense stresses. Men die early. It's not uncommon. Heart attacks. All these things. Illness. Loneliness. Anxiety. Depression. Sexual issues. Breathing-related issues, digestive issues. Mental instabilities. Emotional instabilities. Anger, rages. Depressions. Not being able to find a way to what you want, figure a way, figure a path. All these things result from a lack of spiritual healing. Acknowledging that one needs spiritual healing isn't against you. It's for you. Because through it, when you're a man, you're going to have better relationships. You're going to have happier relationships. You're going to get more of what you want. You're going to provide because you're also going to be able to provide people more of what they want. You're going to be bringing the whole and best you to the table. You're going to circumvent or prevent many other issues that happen. And part of being a man is taking that self-responsibility. Okay? And losing the fear the fear of acknowledging that things can be better or that you can work on things or that healing is needed. Okay? And to stand up and use that courage and strength which is natural within you to say you do need the healing, you're going to take the healing, you're going to take the steps, and you're going to take 
empowerment and control over your life and getting what you want. Because at the end of the day, that's part of what spiritual healing gives you, is the capacity and empowerment and knowledge and tools and everything else in order to get what you want. So, that's the end of my episode today. I'm interested in hearing all of your commentaries, your comments, your questions, so on and so forth. Lastly, I want to let you know that if you're a man or a woman, because I'm going to do a podcast about women and spiritual healing, or a woman, but if you're a man who needs spiritual healing, you're saying, yes, I do need that, yes, that's true, yes, I could do this better, so on and so forth. Contact us. We can get you there. We can get you what you need. Help at greatestspells.com or help at mysticalwork.com. Okay? Help at mysticalwork, M Y S T I C A L, work, W O R K dot com, so that we can get you started on that path and start getting this cleared up, resolved for you. Okay? And email us with any of your questions, comments, anything else, or comment it on the website. Lastly, don't let me forget to tell (laughs) y'all to go ahead and subscribe to this podcast. You can do so on Anchor.fm, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, or Spotify. Or your favorite podcast app, you can look me up, Papa Hector. Papa Hector Salva, S-A-L-V-A. Also, you can check me out on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook at Hongan Hector, H-O-U-N-G-A-N-H-E-C-T-O-R. And you can check us out on the blog at Hector Salva, H-E-C-T-O-R-S-A-L-V-A dot com. So, many blessings and keep the faith. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.